I'm actually going to take you through one of my private label brands, Brain Farm. So you're going to see some insider info here. I actually can't believe I'm about to do this. I'm going to react to the first Facebook ad that I have ever created. I'm going to break it down, show you what I did good, what I did really bad and how it could have been improved upon. And I think what you guys are going to find is a lot of you that are newer to Facebook advertising or just haven't found that success are going to resonate with some of the mistakes I made. And hopefully this analysis prevents you from making these same mistakes that I made when I was first getting started. Without further ado, let's Let's do this. Along with the breakdown of my first ad, I'm actually going to take you through one of my private label brands, Brain Farm. So you're going to see some insider info here. And I really think this entire video is going to bring you guys a lot of value. I'm really excited to share all this information with you. And I'm going to be a little embarrassed once you see this first ad. So let's just start with what the brand was. And this is Brain Farm. So this is something that I still use. Let me pull out my wallet here. As you see, we have the custom carbon fiber wallets. Uh, I've got some watches and um, it's all custom and you can check this out if you want you know get some get some concepts for your next brand check out some of the imagery I use some of the copywriting and whatnot anyways in 2017 I launched a pair of custom headphones called brain pods under brain farm but the the headphones were called brain pods so if you do a Google search here you type in brain pods headphones you actually see some stuff uh, some information on it and I came across this, so I was like snowboardingforum.com and I clicked on this, so I'm like, oh boy, let's see what they had to say. And this guy, and clearly he's like a well-known member here, he says, I'm not familiar with any anything you posted. He's showing, he's talking about Bose and Sure, these big brands, but he says, I'm currently rocking Brain Farms Brain Pods. They sound ridiculously good for $60, tons of bass, excellent noise cancellation, and amazing depth of clarity. So this was like, this made my like, you know, made my feel good, uh, you know, emotions come through when I read this, because that was my goal with it. My whole pitch was that there was half the price of Beats by Dre, and they sounded better. And, and you check it out, look at, just check out these ear, uh, ear headphones at their website. Man, these look sick, wireless for only $60, good deal. And then uh, scroll down a little bit, and the brain pods have more bass than most skull kidneys I've heard of, including over eels. It's clean bass, but not obnoxious, very well balanced. Um, and then what really stands out with the brain pods is how clear and detailed they are. You know, I hear things I've never heard. So if you wanna do some research on like what I actually launched, you can just type it into Google. You'll find, uh, so this is True Triz here. You can actually click here on this. Uh, if you go here, so True Triz is a YouTuber and he has uh, 2.4 million subscribers. So he did a review on the Brain Pods and talked about how they're good for gaming and stuff and you can see him actually using them. So these are the Brain Pods. These are what my custom headphones that I launched and you know, just to kind of give you guys a little bit of a background, we had a press release. Uh, check out the Instagram. So check out my check out my old brand. Get some inspiration from it. See what worked for me. And now I'm going to talk about the ad that you guys came here to see. So I'm getting ready for some embarrassment. I guess I just got to get straight into it. So here we go. So this is the first ad I ever did. And I'm just going to go through the copy before we get into the video, which I'm going to break down for you. So today's the day. Brain Pods are officially releasing to the public on Amazon with Prime shipping available. They were also on my Shopify website. Uh, I wanted to shoot this video to show you all how Brain Pods benefit me. They give me great sound quality and a secure fit when I'm working out. They provide noise cancellation when I'm developing software. They allow me to answer phone calls hands-free with crystal clear audio. And if you're looking for a new pair of headphones, Brain Pods offers premium quality product at a mid-range price, which you don't see often. Everyone deserves high quality audio experience and it shouldn't have to break the bank. That was my goal with the startup and I can firmly say I've succeeded. And then I, I shot out um, Frozen in Frozen in Frame. You can check out his Instagram. He did like the video for this. He recorded me. So here we go, guys. Um, I hope everyone is able to win the day. And that was like kind of my slogan, win the day. So here we go. I'm going to turn up the volume for this and prepare for the embarrassment here. So let's make this full screen. Uh, and started playing the ad below it. So let me pause this. And now here we go. Let's just launch this. Oh gosh, so win the day. It's 5 a.m. This is my first ad, you guys. 5 a.m. wake up, have my buddies get there like 4.30 a.m. And uh, let's talk about the first mistake I made. 
So I'm always talking about the three to five second shocker and how it's so important for virality and organic reach and lower costs and better results on Facebook ads. This is not a three to five second shocker. Look at how long I take recording myself putting on my shoes and tying the laces. Like, what am I doing here? Anyways, let's, let's just keep going. Should have cut this part. Should have cut this part out. <laughs> so I pick up my brain pods, grab my grab my phone, head outside, throw in the sound effects of the birds chirping, get a little stretch in there. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Oh yeah. Here we go. Headphones in. Game time. And we're off. So we got uh, some clips. I'm out running right by Wrigley Field here. way too long of a clip check this out so now i start talking about the the features and what am i always talking about when i when i'm discussing what you should do when creating an ad i'm saying focus on the emotional benefits don't tell people the features features tell them how it's going to benefit their life how it's going to solve a problem and right here i am just blatantly listing the features of this product earlock mechanism I should have definitely put like, you know, you won't get frustrated when you're running and they, and they fall out. It's, it's not going to happen. Very bad job here. I listed the features and I didn't, I should have like zoomed in here. I should have cut this clip of me running randomly by Wrigley Field and showing how the earlock mechanism works. Let's keep going. Here we go. <laughs> running by the park now. HD Bluetooth sound. Once again, listing the features. I should have put like that that snowboarder review said uh you'll hear the most the most clarity you will ever hear in a pair of headphones hear the crisp uh tight bass boom through your eardrums like really brought out that feeling and really allow them to feel the benefit and this does not do it so here we go hd bluetooth sound i should have maybe just had like some crazy drums going in the background too with anyways let's let's keep going here Here we go. Oh, look at those hops. Look at those hops. <laughs> Getting some stair running in here. Man, I was a little thicker back then. Hitting the push-ups. Oh, yeah, there we go. Getting the pump in, Dylan. Getting the pump in. All right, and then this part is just really bad, too. Hands-free calls with inline mic. Should have put... Uh, never reach to pick up your phone and answer a call again or like answer your phone from anywhere and I, I i just did a bad job i had like a bad transition go over the screen right as it showed like why did i have a transition that covered up covered up the screen to show how it works so this one isn't bad though because i am showing like i answered it hands free so this isn't a bad one it shows people they can answer the call whenever they need to back off again here we go back home oh yeah magnetic clip feature so this one wasn't bad but it should have been way more zoomed in and i should have i shouldn't have listed magnetic clip feature i should have said you know never worry about losing them when they're not in your ears and then see the clip right here yeah we clip them in disappear back inside my apartment and then back out looking all flying fresh doing some coding and i've got them in Guys, look what I did. I spelled the word noise wrong. So right after I recorded it, I woke up at like 4.30 a.m. I stayed up to like 12 planning the shoot. Woke up at 4.30, ran a couple miles, did the video editing, went to breakfast, and published it because I had a deadline to hit for the product launch. And I was so tired that I put noise canceling. So huge mistake. Don't misspell when you're trying to advertise a premium product. Don't misspell anything. And... Once again, I, I'd state the feature noise noise canceling. It should have been, uh, you know, block out any. Don't get distracted. Block out anything that's distracting you. Get get all your work done quicker, more efficiently. Pitch the benefits. Pitch people that might want to use these in an office situation on a plane. And noise canceling just doesn't do that. So once again, 
Huge mistake by focusing on the feature, not the benefit. Way too long of a clip of me writing code that nobody will understand. Win the day, Brain Farm LLC Brain Pods now available on Amazon. And I think that was all I had. So I didn't even say like, go buy yours on Amazon today. Horrible call to action here. So yeah, I think you guys got the gist of where I went wrong there. And the biggest takeaway that you should get from this is use quick clips. You need to intrigue people with the scroll sets with the scroll stopper. And the best way to do that is that three to five second shocker that I talk about in my how to create a viral video advertisement. And I'll link that down in the description. That is like how I create all of my advertisements nowadays. Huge mistake with the scroll stopper. The intro took way too long to get into the actual, you know, the benefits of, of the how this product's gonna bring benefits to people's lives. And then the, the clips in between were just very long and spaced out. The total video length was like three minutes. This could have been a 30 second video clip. And at the time, you know, I, I had that thinking longer is better, just make it like a movie. That's incorrect. I should have chopped down the clips and every time that I wanted to list a feature, I should have explained what benefit it's gonna bring to that person's life. Shouldn't have said noise canceling. I should have said, don't get distracted at work, get things done more efficiently earlock mechanism stop getting frustrated when your headphones fall out really draw those emotions out of people and as i listed those you, i should have been showing the exact maneuver of those headphones like up close in detail not just a clip of me running randomly next to wrigley field so this was released in i want to say may 2017 this was the first ad that i ever created and the crazy thing is is ecom was a lot easier than it is today and I actually sold the 50 units that I had in like four weeks I know that doesn't sound a lot like a lot but my ad budget I think I spent like a total of $30 on ads so nothing crazy but I did sell those 50 units and I eventually shut down the headphones because the market for headphones is incredibly saturated with these with these headphones I actually so I've produced like beats and stuff in the past and just some really easy music so I understood how to do equalizing, like EQ, and I worked with the manufacturer to create a custom chip, basically, that had a, a custom EQ in the headphones, and that's what provided that clarity that you saw people raving about in their headphones. So that that's what did it, and I should have focused on that, and I think it, I would have had a lot more success. And there's still always opportunity, that maybe I'll get back into brain pods at some point. But this was uh, something fun for me to do. Uh, quite embarrassing to really look back on my first ad, but hey, I figured you guys could get value out of it, kind of get insight into one of my private label brands, how I get st how I got started in e-com, and also learn from my mistakes. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you found this entertaining, value-packed, and got a good laugh. Um, if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe. I drop a minimum of two videos per week, and I'll see you in the next one. Dylan out.